He gathered information based on conversations that took place in that car. And then somebody, somebody used that information to talk an 11-year-old girl into taking a ride. You saying that that was me? That 11-year-old girl? And if she has to, she will definitely pick you out of a lineup. Kidnapping is a Class A felony in the state of New York. Do you have any idea how much time you're looking at, scumbag? What the hell are you doing, man? You can't come in here. This is where I work. I make house calls. You may have some doubt in your mind what I'm capable of. I'm here to put that doubt to rest. All right, Tony, take it easy, man. Shut the fuck up! Don't you say a word to me. Now, you got a beef with me. I get that. To you, it's justifiable. To me, it's not. And it's never gonna be right between us. That has nothing to do with what I'm about to tell you. You involve my family? You crossed the last line. This gun, you see it? Untraceable. You involve them again, and I will use it to kill you. You think I'm capable of that, Bert? Hmm? Yeah. Do you understand I have never been more serious about anything in my life? Tony, you got a gun to my head, I understand. Do you understand? Yes! Mr. Gates, I'm Detective Brown. Well, not exactly my type, but I guess I'll make an exception. Do you know Kim Forrester? No, I won't ring a bell. So you've never seen this woman? She's got nice hair. Have you seen her or haven't you seen her? Well, New York's a pretty big town, Lieutenant. I guess I could have passed her on the street or... I'm actually referring to your more intimate contact. Have you ever been in her apartment? I've been in lots of apartments. This was her building on 35th and 8th. She lived in apartment 301. Have you ever been in this particular unit? No. Then perhaps you can explain why this tag, with your fingerprint on it, was beside her body? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I can. I work at Empire Prop House. Empire Prop House? Yeah, Prop House. They rent props to movies, TV shows. Yes, I'm, I'm aware of what a Prop House is. Good. Well, my job is I stop the props. There's... Tons of name tags, just like the one you got right there. I've probably touched hundreds in the last week alone. There's no record of you having this job. And they ain't got you down the FBI for nothing, huh? Well, they pay me under the table. Yeah, maybe, maybe you can get me on tax evasion, huh? This prop house where you say you work, do they carry uniforms? Sure. Like co-ed uniforms? Like any kind of uniforms you can think of, they, they got it. Do they ever, do you ever take any home? Do you have any uniforms among your possession? You got guys searching my place right now? Yeah. So if you do have uniforms there, you might as well tell me. I want to see the search warrant. What for? This is my legal right. And I'm done talking until I see it. And, hey, Lieutenant, you might want to tell affirmative action back there. They better come down and get a new game plan, huh? Uh, just slow down for a second. That, that just happened? For real, that actually just happened? You crashed your ex-wife's wedding with your guitar? I mean, what the hell were you thinking, huh? I'm sorry, Teresa said it was okay. Well, let me remind you, Teresa is the woman who married none that's over there. Yeah, Kenny, I know you're here. Control your woman, huh? I mean, what's going on? Oh, you wanted to impress her. What am I dealing with here? 
Jerry Maguire and, and, and Richie Cunningham over there? I mean, come on. I mean, we're not men anymore. Yeah, Kenny, big man, you can't even go out for a beer. We're not going to a girly bar. You had to tiptoe out just to go out and have a beer. And you, she's been parading this guy around in front of your friends for the whole last year. You've done nothing about it. Big man, huh? No, I'm, I'm just saying, you guys, you know, I mean, we are not men. Our fathers were men. I mean, they were real men. Not this half-assed generation of pink panty waist. I mean, you know why I can't find a birthday present for my son? Because I don't know what it's like to be a man anymore. You know? I mean, I should have just bought him a gun. Yeah, a gun. I said it, Kenny. And I'm sick of this. You're, you're tiptoeing around. You're singing in churches. I can't even find a birthday present for my friend. That's it. You know what? I'm done with it. I'm, I'm just totally done with it. We ought to be smoking cigars. You know, drinking whiskey. Storming beaches. Killing tigers. Yeah, killing tigers. I said it. That's right. I'm sick of all this stuff. It's time to man up, boys. It's just time to man up. I got a roll, man. I'm gonna, Debbie's going to kill me if I'm late for dinner. I miss you. No, I, I didn't end up getting the role on the TV show. They, they went with a bigger name. It's okay. It happens all the time. Listen. I start feeling down like I ain't got a single friend left in this town I start drinking old bourbon thinking I don't care Yeah, well, I rode out west, I didn't do me so good It seems my dreams got crushed when I hit Hollywood I start cursing, middle of the desert screaming life ain't fair I just feel like giving in I hear her little voice and she says Listen daddy, you don't got a choice I'm looking down She's throwing me a stare And she says Daddy, I'm a singing church choir at noon And I've been looking for you standing I'm the last pew and I'll sing loud Oh my daddy, so you can hear Yes, yeah, she wants me there. Yeah, I want a man. Yes, yeah, she wants me there. Yeah, I want a man. She done tamed his old grizzly bear. Roar. And she wants me 